731 people. 731 start up. <clears throat> this is this is zoomed out. If I zoom in, it's gonna move. Oh well, there's a boat out there. Let's show you the boat. You can see the boat, huh? Wait, let me take these gloves off. This one big. Yacht for one of them hotels. <clears throat> so, anyways, where are we? Okay. <clears throat> this is this is not Venus. This is Amanibro. This is um 7:31, This is what day is this? Wednesday, May 9th. We're um, Western Jamaica. We're looking due west. I'm zooming out now. <clears throat> Zoom. That's um. He's a. You call him Venus, whatever. Over here, he's about. Oh. How much off the horizon? Now about 40 degrees. Oh, look at the ball. He's going to be coming over this way, maybe. Alright, so I'm going to set this. Let's... Let me see if, you, if I zoom in and watch what will happen. Oh. I think I have to zoom out. Where the fuck? Yeah, i got to zoom out, of course. <clears throat> you want to see him track and the speed. So, there's the boat, that's nice, so we kind of level, all right. I'll leave the camera there. <clears throat> 734. So, what we're trying to illustrate here is this is the elliptical eccentric orbit of Amenibru coming into our galaxy. This is not Venus in a regular night sky orbit. If you observe him from 6 o'clock in the morning, he will be up higher and come in as a fine white dot. And as it progresses, he's getting brighter and brighter now. <clears throat> now he's going to get brighter for a little while longer and then he's going to be coming down <clears throat> on a slight eccentric <clears throat> coming to the if we're looking west he's going to come a little bit north on this is eccentric getting brighter and then turning to a red glow as you're about 8.30 in the night or after 8 30 i guess it catches the red glow about 15 degrees above the horizon and then gets smaller and finer as he makes a small loop and he'll uh, by nine after nine o'clock he appears motionless like he's hung about five degrees off the horizon as a f deep fine red dot but it's really just him going far away but Anyways, if you want to study it, to really understand it, you should understand what the um, elliptical orbit looks like. Go in on Google for images. Go Google Nibiru orbit. 
and you see the the elliptic nature of the eccentric it's like the pointy part of well no <clears throat> actually he's making his orbit is different but you see the nature this turn is really sharp like he comes down turns and then gun like on a level this turn is really sharp differently so but you get the idea of an elliptic or eccentric orbit then um, if you want to understand more of the science there's the concept of the stellar parallax which is the astro science astrophysical way of defining or proving this which will plot the motion Okay, but you also plot the lumens that come off. Or I think they call it a different name for the light factor. So, you have a way of calculating the light. So, all things remaining constant, as something gets brighter, it's like a car headlight. As the car headlight gets brighter, it means it's coming closer. And then he turns and you don't see the white and you start to see red as the end you see the engine trailing off the glow of the engine or the energy it's the same way here it's the same way to ship it's the same way to ship Where is he moving? Did I set the camera like that? Anyways, people were looking at Amanibu in the top left corner and the bottom on the right side. That's a, one of these cruise yachts coming out of the grill on a night cruise. The bottom light on the right. That'll be moving across the screen to our left. And Amanibu is up top and he's going to come down a little bit. And we'll just watch, I guess. So the way to use the video to see the tracking, I guess you know by now, but let it download first is easy. It's just let it download. You can press the stop button, let it download. Then when it's finished download, in the description box below, I have the little time increments, 5, 10, 15, 20. You just click each one and it'll pop along in five minute intervals and you see the tracking. And you don't have to listen to me then, too. Fire. Guys, nice to me. Look how calm the sea is. You, you, you want to know something, people? Don't trust the moon. Don't trust anything they tell you from science. About your eyes. About your eyeball. About the optic nerve. 
wonder if you know what the hyaloid canal is. Or the German I called code book from 300 years ago, that code book they, they broke last year. Or how deep they gone in Brookhaven. The rats. And everywhere, but it looks like right now, I wish I knew what you were talking about exactly too much. You have all these secrets. But it looks like evil is really fucked up things in the nature. They, they found out too much secrets. They jump back and forth in time and got confused. But there's like a... Okay, like, you know, like, um, the good seed and the bad seed, and you throw it on the ground, and it works where there's some soil or nice ground, and where, where there's, um, oh, oh, I have Gotta have coffee. Good seed and the bad seed. Oh, right. the um, you have like in the good seed and the bad seed. That. Don't let me forget what I'm talking about. You have the good ground where it grows and the bad ground, right? You understand that? Now invert it. Ignore it. You know your logic gates by now? I doubt it. So you just now imagine you have bad seed. Okay, so the bad seed, you want the bad seed to grow. Let me see. If this is <clears throat> that cruise ship is going offshore, so he's getting. He's tracking offshore. I don't know. I don't even see him again there. The, um, alright. So you have bad seed. If you have, so what we have now is, I don't know how it all happened, but you have like a plasma, some, you have some bad ground in the at oh, what the fuck alright let me put it this way can't really put it in words you know can't really put it in words But you have a demonic problem. You have it's too easy the demonic nature and you have some type of plasmic energy that got cut loose and is around and it can be sticky. So like when like imagine if you sneeze and like a booger fly out. Right? You know them you sneeze and like one of those nasty boogers fly out where they have like some deep green something in it or something and look like it look like it's from fucking Mars or something.
That's what kind of happens. If you see one tiny, tiny thing, that's a firefly out there. Um, so, because of the nature of society and the complexity that we're in without any guidance, you have all this noise, and then you have the these Freemasons who are genius at introducing mind control and thought disruption and manipulating this thought that this higher level, the source level of energy, you know, like in our magnetosphere and lower. Like I saw the other day get pressed in, man. And you talk about this super moon. Bullshit more. You should tell the people the truth. And all right, here's the thing. I can't explain to you all the problems and where they all came from. I know enough things, but it doesn't make any sense. Because to look back, you're not going to figure out all these things. But there are some. All right. This demonic problem, the appearance of Amin Nibiru, to me, all points towards Jamaica taking a leading role in this new phase we need to go into. Our Prime Minister here is a leading woman. She just got a big award from time, like top 100 people or something. And more important than that, don't forget that. Although I won't forget that. But first of all, I have to caution you. She does need some guidance with this yelling business. The yell, I'm, let, we'll get into that later. But our prime minister here is a chosen woman, and I believe this is a sign for Team Jamaica to help the world and guide the world. Jamaica has the already all the credentials. Jamaica has established. I'm not. Let's not be misled by who we call our heroes or government leaders. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the people. Okay. When we say Jamaica, we know what we're talking about. We're not talking about government. We're talking about the people. So, you have the people and the people. Any, if anybody in the world is to establish morality, consciousness, and order, who, what country? Jamaica, you don't even have to invest anything in a marketing budget. It already has all the credentials. You say Jamaica and people know you're talking consciousness, Bob Marley, heights of meditation, righteousness. Now, there's of course other people, and people need to be more educated, and that's just a matter of things, but Jamaica has that specifically. Jamaica also has the consciousness, consciousness, the mystic consciousness of the black man in the black African diaspora experience. Jamaica has that mystic, Jamaica, you, Jamaican men can just go, hey, who? And a consciousness just, whoo. People can get it almost like instant. Most of the white people in the world and all these people, you can't get them to move their mind or whatever, differently, whatever. But with Jamaican people and black people down, I don't know about everywhere, but uh, let me talk about here. There's this mystic communication. I won't say it's done through the mind or the heart exactly, I don't know what, but it's a mystic communication that can establish what's right. You don't need books and years of studying with your head down to know what's right. And there's more order from Rastafari, there's enough high order in consciousness on how to live. And regular Jamaica is the most high order of regular Jamaica 
accepts God in his life. When you get up, when you go down, you accept God like the air and the sun and everything. God is part of life. God is not a doubt. God is not a thing. But there's enough confusion, too, and different things, whatever. But I'm talking about the gift that I know is here. I'm talking about the gift that I know is here and the gift that I know that the world needs right now is here. And we have the Prime Minister right here to expound and illustrate and take credit for Jamaica as a country and its mystic nature and its place in history and its powers and its glory. And people know that all around the world. People love Jamaica. Even when people come visit and they have trouble, enough people, people curse everything and everything, but people love Jamaica in a different way. Like they love their own something, whatever, differently. I don't know. Um, so anyways, this demonic problem in the world can be handled very easily and naturally by people with spirit. It doesn't need so much confusion and all these different things. The, the spirit needs to be let free and then everything follows it. Well, you know, there's always a battle, and there is eternal vigilance, of course, but once you, we get our balance back, it's not so bad. We're so out of balance. We have to get balance back, and then... When you have that type of balance, you don't have so much crazy thought in the magnetosphere and so much pressure on the magnetosphere from what is fear-mongering in the magnetosphere. And the earth can heal itself easier and balance itself easier and move itself. And if we need to move ourselves, we can move ourselves to meditation. People down here know a lot more. People down here know how to plant corn, or some of them do. But this virus is everywhere. The youth have got this thing, you know. This demonic virus has gone loose. Let me see what's happening here. Yeah. <coughs> Twenty two minutes. You yeah, I see plenty of cases of mind control being executed in so many different fashions, from mechanical, technological device to telepathic. Do you know the secret of Da Vinci, the real secret of Da Vinci? What do you think it is? You know whatever they tell you, it's you have to, you know, do something, right? So the real secret is um, the one they call Madonna on the Rocks. Madonna of the rocks or on the rocks? Okay. Now to code the secret, you have to code the context of Da Vinci, young gay boy over there in Rome or something. This or what he, I guess he, Da Vinci only did like 20 paintings. Two of those paintings were this one. He did the painting... And then they had legal battles for like 15 years. Can you imagine legal battles in 1480s, 1490s? This is what's so critical to understand the context, was these legal battles. He ended up redoing it or having one of the students redo it. And da-da-da. You can look it up and try and break the code. But this code, you have to break it. And see, underneath the painting, there's different layers. And see what's changed. But if you break the code in those, you can see... Da Vinci, there were some battles going on. He was, I think he was busted for some gay thing or gay prostitute thing. He actually arrested back there and fight. I guess some of the church was fighting him or this or whatever, and I don't know. And also, the church at this time was establishing itself, the, the Vatican, I'm talking, the vampires. Um... 
they were making the laws that put lines on earth, like in make common trust and how to, you, you know, people had to create these concepts about land and ownership and owning property and whatever. So in them things like those Latin names like Eternius Trust or whatever, like in 1470s maybe or 1480s or something anyways. So anyways, they're trying to do things. Da Vinci comes around, they get in a tussle and it's like Da Vinci wants to fuck them, you know, every different way for different reasons because of the gay thing and because, uh, you know, the church is coming down with this new type of, this was like the new world order back then. So this legal case goes on from like the 1483 to 1506 or something. And it's over this painting. Anyways, I've decoded it. I'll tell you. In the process, Da Vinci was revealing too many secrets in the painting. Number one secret. Mary is higher than Jesus. Number two secret. Mary is Mary's. More than one Mary. So it was a breed or a tribe. Number two, no, number three secret, Mary was black. Number four secret, if you can figure Mary was black, you can figure Jesus too, I guess, right? The last secret is Mary's telepathic, among other things. So if you study that, you can get them secrets out. Other things to confirm that you can confirm around the year 1099, 1099 or 1199. Um, this was one of the last big things where they where they covered over the Black Madonna was with um, Saint Bernard. Yeah, Saint Bernard. Saint Bernard used to have a, an, a like a monastic order around the Black Madonna. Anyways, they bought him off, coded him, bought him off from the Black Madonna and gave him some big role in the church and just bought him off. And he ended up really starting the, I don't know what, but the, if, it, if that was like the next step up off a of Freemason to the Knights Priory or something, I don't know. But that was St. Bernard around the year 1099 or 1199. So you had the Black Madonna coating off under St. Bernard there. That was a, he built all temples and, or not temples, churches, I guess, or chapels, and had enough artworks for the Black Madonna. I guess they said the cult of them at Black Madonna or something. And then you had Da Vinci's. Black, um, Madonna on the Rocks painting scandal around it right before the fifth, right, called 1500. Um, what was it telling you that for? When I first started, um, I don't know about first, but studying the night sky a few months ago, like November, October, and then I start to see things, and I saw those blinky satellites working in patterns, and they appeared to work around the edge of the Caribbean tectonic plate. I'd see them like working two shifts in the night and move and stuff. They saw more things moving in the sky differently. And then I saw something happen to Jupiter last year or something. So when? December? Or sometime, I don't know. November? Or before then? 
I don't really know what's going on up there, but I know something happened. But I felt something, I know, like... September 20s, I remember feeling something like that third week of September. There's so much people on the internet lying and putting out disinfo and confusing people, scamming. And you see, mind is sacred ground, and it's all one mind, so this thing have to really put down. These people, I hope they re Well, let me tell you this. People, if you're out there lying on the internet and misleading people, know this. Mind is sacred ground. Maybe you have your reasons now to lie to people that is better for people. I'm not the judge. But I'm just telling you. Mind is sacred ground. When you have a thought. There's a light out there. Oh, there must be a boat out there. Is that, is that the other boat out there? Must be. The um, mind is sacred ground. You got it. So, when you have a thought, when you use words, you have to use words to make a thought. You know, and you build the thought. That's a creation in the universe. And it's one universe, so it's like easy for our thoughts to get mixed up right now and then confused. So that's why having an order where we can understand each other and relate on some level is important. People need orders, good orders, and not control orders, but guidance. Understand, guidance is the new paradigm, different from, guidance is the old one, or whatever. <clears throat> so we see, it's a half an hour, and he's just look like, whatever. You have to deal with it systemically. <clears throat> Prime Minister Portia Millis, I think, is a good person. Uh, look, we have the signs here. Everything's here. What are you going to do? And here's the other thing. You can't really, like, walk around and think about things too much. You have to be in the spirit be comfortable in the spirit and have faith because you fall down you know and you need to get up as a team and keep working to it but that's where we got to go people have to be a team and Jamaica is the world team leader for the consciousness that we need to dawn upon ourselves Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Bunny Whaler, Jimmy Cliff, so many of them are so great. And the living wisdom that they've shown us, and the living struggle. In the world, in the world, love them. In the world, love them. So. Free of the spirit in people. Be good and be happy and the world is the kingdom of heaven, you know. I guess they don't want you to say that one. 
the kingdom of heaven on earth. You have the jubilee, make it a real jubilee. Now that ship is pretty strange that I showed you. Because he was in close and he shot way out. There's a little glow. I don't think you can see him. But he's out there with a little glow. I wonder why they go out there if they're doing a deal. Usually they would cruise close. Whatever. You haven't done anything for me to fuck. And to give thanks and praises to your Almighty this opportunity What do we see here? This is 40 minutes. Seems like I'm hardly moved here. I don't know if I'm used to moving faster. No, we came earlier. Confused when I look at this little screen. Wish I had someone to tell me some advice on this thing. I don't think I'm going to do any fucking more things, you know that? fuck I'm supposed to be now. If 
for you have time fucking travel on my head. I know someone came to time travel and fucked up my Canon XL2. Go on to Google and Google Jamzen Canon XL2 and see if you don't find my blog from some years ago when my 4,000 US dollar video camera whatever I knew back then something wasn't right that's why I made that blog about it I knew something wasn't right how that camera got fucked up yeah, someone time traveling Someone's fucking time traveling. You have fucking time travel. You have some fucking men in black, you know. You know about them in Operation whatever, Occupy Wall Street. The cops, the two cops who were there with the pepper spray and, the, and guide them on the Brooklyn Bridge at first. And then did the pepper spray. They did the pepper spray first. It was the two cops. You don't see it? And the one guy was even cold off, Tony Baloney is his name. I can tell you, I think that was a leaf. I can tell you about people on the internet, some people I know, some of these motherfuckers, I know they're lying sons of bitch Nazis. Looking at the fucking moon in the sky, you motherfuckers, and telling people pussy hole shit. You want me to call your fucking name? I'm gonna put your fucking name and tell the hashtag FBI and hashtag Secret Service. But there's one, I know there's one who's a good fighter who. They they infected him. They have some different ways of doing it. Some of these motherfucking are born Nazi traitors. Okay, and I'm coding to them. Okay, but some of them, they like see something or, you know, they stumble on something or something happens and they see something. And then these fucking Nazis have to mind code them. These secret military Freemason Nazis have mind coding techniques. Okay, I don't know all of them, whether they're indentures, this, earrings, the devices, but I know that some of them have to do with the phone. I know that there's this one, I don't want to say his name, but he, he's a good fighter. This one, he's a good fighter, but he gets the wrong call sometimes. And I think that the phone they gave him, I don't know if they gave him that phone, but I think maybe they gave him that phone. I don't trust that phone. And the one who gives him the call, you should find out who that one is. That one who gives him the call and trace him. Because I know my pastor friend there is a good fighter, and he's good, but there's this... N these white shirt, tie and jacket, gray jacket, gray suit. The men in black, okay, will appear as the police in white shirts, or, you know, in that occupation Wall Street thing, those pepper spray guys. And they appear in gray business suits. Who is up there? Yo! Um. Yeah, they fucking infected all these new age teaching. They have such clever ways. That there's so many different levels how he's infected. Most of these guys. They paint things in your mind. They paint images in your mind. They c these images come in softly and you don't realize what they're coming in. But they know when these images come in, they create soft zones in your mind. That they then further implant and do different things on different levels and different levels. And societies at this point, with the fluoride-ness... Hey, just the fluoride. Trace the fluoride. 
trace the fluoride. Trace the fluoride to Alcoa, Alcoa aluminum, the warmongers, trace Alcoa aluminum. Trace who was the directors of Alcoa aluminum back in the 1915, okay? And whose son then became director of the CIA in like the 1980s? And then whose grandson then was responsible? Uh, leave that. Um, this is all over. We need to combat it on all different levels and we need to let the spirit free. We need one of those spaceships here in Jamaica to go back and forth to the Olympics. Um, you can give it to Irie FM if you want to give it to Irie FM to control it. You don't want to give it to the government people. Do some good things and get the spirit up. If you don't get your spirit up and allow the spirit to establish order in the world, you can talk all you want about Al Qaeda, but the world's gonna blow up unless you, you know, come into the new timeline. You don't have to be afraid of the order. Order is His Majesty King Selassie. You can just read it simple. Where's this going on the screen? Oh, he's gotten fine, huh? Should I zoom in? I guess I should. What is it? Just 47 minutes? Well, maybe I shouldn't zoom in. Finish the track and see him get a little brighter. Must be some cloud up there. What is, it, what is it saying? Oh, don't be afraid of the order. Um, study when His Majesty left Ethiopia and was at Hotel David in 1937. I think one time I said 46. It's 36 or 37. And to get through this, we need to follow the Christian spirit so that men and women of goodwill can collaborate and get through life. And we need to be eternally vigilant because it's not like one thing. It's every day we're human beings. There's problems. We need to be eternally vigilant. We need to stop killing people and stop making bombs and things kill people from the sky and those things. We need to stop doing that and do good things. We're not doing good things like you need to stop the bad things and stop killing people. Because it, you do it, you know, you, you blame it like, oh, they're over there, they're over there. When it's one world, it's one earth, it's one thing. So when you make the energy, it's on the source. So the energy is there and it keeps getting reflected and refracted. And it's like, you need to code the zone now. The only people that can code the zone is Jamaica. You can't tell me nothing. Jamaica. Unless you want to spend like a hundred more fucking years doing something and be all fucked up. Jamaica have the vibe, the consciousness. They can code the zone on no budget almost instantaneous. That's because it's mystic. Okay, it just needs a little practice and discipline to get some team in order and to have faith and step up things and just formalize it. Just go talk to the Prime Minister about Venus, not Venus. If Venus is not Venus, go talk to the Prime Minister. This is Jamaica sign to the world. Oh, you know, I see the Olympics coming up. Who is everyone going to... Who is the whole world talking about already? What's going to happen from Jamaican athletes? How the fuck 
Right now they want to come shut off my water. The other day I was saying to the other, my other someone or whatever, how the fuck he got his water shut off? And I said, you couldn't have done it. And now I can't believe in my fucking water. He says he's over 10 fucking or 12 fucking thousand dollars. And it's mean to fucking dogs. You want people to give up? I give up all the time. I don't have a fucking problem. Surrender is a different thing. I'm telling you, you better do it. I'm sick of doing these things to tell you the truth. What kind of fucking world it is when you charge people for water? Why you have people born? Why are you fucking boring people and then charge them for water? Oh, fuck. Let me tell you something. Father, do whatever you want. Tell you if the water commission comes to my yard tomorrow and I'm in a fucking mood, it's the end. The fucking end. Because those fucking, they're like fucking hot. Let me tell you, they go around like fucking crackheads. Cutting off people's water like on Friday too and Thursday. You never see them go around? They're like fucking living devils. They're going around. They're like fucking demons, I swear to God. Their eyes are going around, and they're like sweating, and they're going around crazy like them fucking demons you see in a fucking movie, cutting off people's water on earth. I swear to God, anybody who's in a... F 